has a few things that are certain in life. Death, taxes, Ruby is cute, Penny is cute, Weiss is cute, Blake is cat, so why is dog? And Hobo Ryan is an idiot who forgot to turn on his microphone for the entire recording, even though he was looking at the audio recording the entire single time, but he didn't even notice that there was no blips on the entire thing, making him not only dumb, but extremely blind. But it's also cute. You know, I was told at a very young age that on the great holiday of Christmas, a fat man will come to your house and tell you, hey Ryan, I'll give you one thing that you want. That's right, all you have to do is take up a pen and scrabble down some of your hopes and dreams. And this beautiful fat bear with his gorgeous beard will come to your house and give you exactly what you want, wrapped up in the finest paper from the finest trees in all of the North Pole. All you gotta do, right, is believe. Oh, I believe, fat man. You wanna know what I asked for Christmas? I asked for world peace. And all I got was a blonde lesbian and a cat girl that quite liked it. But you know what, Santa? I think it's going to be okay. It's a new year. And a new year is a new me. I never got my Nintendo 64 either. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to a Rhyme Reacts. Santa Claus isn't real. Welcome to adulthood. It sucks. Today we're checking out another episode of Ruby. That episode is episode 7. I don't know what it is. I'm just going to say Penny Goes to Jail. Okay? That's why I'm not even going to look up the title. It's just Penny Goes to Jail. She drops the soap. And the dick just tinks against her butt. Because she has no butthole. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha. Robot jokes. Well, at least I think so. Why would you... Why would you even program... Any of that. Now that I think about it, I actually really hope that her dad did not program the bottom region of her because that is kind of gross. <laughs> I created my daughter to have a vagina when she doesn't have to pee. What's it for, Doc? What's it for? You sick! In the last episode, I had such a great time. In this episode, we're going to have more fun. Please. Please. That's a bad omen. <laughs> All I ask for is some good fighting and some good storytelling. So far, I have gotten neither. I've got bad comebacks, shitting on people who don't like the way you're writing your story, and everything falling apart. Plus, Penny went to prison. I guess. I don't actually know. I haven't actually watched the episode. Uh, and also, how about some chaos? You know, last episode I was expecting that I would start with some, some good old looting and rioting, and it turned out it was just one guy who didn't have his cocaine on the morning and just went off the deep end and just tried to wiggle a car over and couldn't do it and then got out of breath, and then the cops are like, Hey, you stop that! And he's like, Yo, there, take me. Whew, I am pooped. And they arrested him. Because poop's a bad word in that list. You don't say that kind of language. You know what, folks? The only way to find out what's going to happen is to sit down, react to the video with you guys, and see what happens. Of course, folks, like, check out the original link more for original kind of crayer. Link's in the description. the shit about no party pants robot but head pat robot the future is a beautiful and wonderful place <laughs> why why did you why did you have to show two children hiding for their lives when i said that why did you have to be like nope you're dumb idiot 
Excuse me, officer, why are you chasing after those random people that haven't done anything? Oh, I don't trust them! I don't trust them. There's something about them. Disgusting racist robot cops. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny to me that they're racist robots. You would say- Civilian, you are obstructing an Apocalypse military operation. Please step aside. Everything alright over here? Holy shit, what the hell? Uh... What hello? is she, David Blaine? Oh. Yeah, it seems her magical powers is David Blaine. Well, it seems things are changing real quick. Did they just eat? This is the worst case scenario. More people are dead. Penny's been framed. And somehow, Jacques Schnee is sitting on the council. You're telling me that this little sheep girl has Moroku's sucky hand? I imagine it's just a touch thing, but uh, that she just she literally just sucks something into her hand. She's got an alternate dimension in her palm. The abilities in this season have skyrocketed, huh? It went from my ability is zip zapping speed. My abilities is that I punch things hard. My abilities is I can make a single doppelganger. My ability is I can stop time. Oh yeah, well, I got bad luck. <laughs> Poor crow. It seems election night was the last push Robin needed to go from hometown hero to full-on vigilante. I'm afraid the problem is more complicated than that. <laughs> it seems Robin has been Pants over to her, she's wearing Batman's mask. <clears throat> they refusing to sell his provisions oh, until shit. the scene is adequately repaired. With Robin redistributing the goods her team has stolen, the Amateur Project... <laughs> what are you all right there, buddy? You are one... One thrust away from a conniption, my man. Is declaring martial law. Ooh, boy. You're not actually considering that, are you? What's more important? Establishing communication to unite the world? Or appeasing a few city blocks? Don't make it sound trivial when you know it mm. isn't. You keep talking about how we just need a little more time, but... You're not the one having to struggle. We have all had to make sacrifices for the greater good. Mantle has had If to you've been framed, wouldn't this be like the worst decision? All of it. The longer this waiting game goes on, the harder each day gets for people down there. And now you want to send in more soldiers? You can't force people to fall in line. If you do that, you'll just be trading all of these problems for the grin. Please, no, it's like the funniest cry in the world. That kind of division plays right into Salem's hands. That's why Tyrion is here framing you. Right. The reason we called you here in the first place. You're sure this was the man you saw? Tyrion Kalos was accused of murders all across Anima. A homicidal maniac who escaped justice when his prison transport was attacked by Grimm. After that, he was never seen again. Well, he works for Salem. And he's here. That a long-lost serial killer is loose in mantle and the military has no idea where he is. Might make things worse before they get better. I am so sick That's why sick he lubricates some... If we just told everyone about Amity, about Salem... We can't! If we talk about Amity now, we were Salem's forces, who we know are here, working to sabotage it. If we tell them about Salem now, we risk falling to the Grim before we can reunite Remnant. Mm. We have to finish the tower i want robin hill and god custody. ironwood is can falling apart you can tell control. he's on the brink of just snapping and we're not assisting with robin needs to focus on Tyrion. i want to know who he's working with where he's hiding what he's planning and how exactly that video of penny got all over my kingdom wait do i make myself so there was video footage yes, sir. but there just wasn't yes, sir. night vision camera i oh you know what i just thought of Ren? Ren, what are you up to? Looks what are you like thinking? 51st. 
Wait a minute, Ren, couldn't you just calm everybody down? Ah, oh, damn it, Ren. It just, wait, no, that just makes him invisible. I can't remember if he actually calmed people down. Or if he can just make people invisible to the Grim. Do you... Do you think we should have told Ironwood about Salem? Before he put so much on the line for Amity? Sounds like you do. I just kind of hit me that uh, the argument to the cameras and stuff is that um, Senior Mustachio would have just hacked it and made it so they didn't show up. So, hey, boys, it's like 10 seconds in the future. And I already shot down my entire points. Don't worry, guys. I'm here to shoot myself down. <laughs> but I think he deserves to know what he's stepping into. We all did. You mean that we're all fucked? Don't agree. Look around. The embargo, the military presence, the restrictions on assembly. He's a bit prone to overreacting. Yeah, hard to argue with that. <laughs> what makes you say that? Oh! oh, that's right. I'm not I forgot. Sure there are many good options left for any of us anymore. Keeping secrets, taking lives. It makes you wonder how far we're going to have to go to keep doing the right thing. Blake, we did what we had to do I know but next time I want to make sure we don't have to and I can tell you ambushing a huntress who's just trying to help isn't an option I'm thrilled about choosing then maybe we shouldn't how is she doing she's confused scared We'll have her recorded visual data. Watch, well, you're gonna see how confusing it's going. Wow! Her face is just scream. Oh, she's knocked out. <laughs> the things people are saying about her. Oh. If Penny hadn't been there, Robin would be. <laughs> oh. I don't think Robin was their target. Some tomfoolery. Has always been to divide us. I think Penny was exactly where they wanted her. Hmm. Just like at the Vital Festival. Mm. Just like Poor Penny. Oh so God, is Penny has been used so many times. Against us, this stop the footage of Penny came from her. Where have you been? Man, stolen. I forgot Grim was even stand. here. Ugh, hacking technology. Oh, why can't people just do what they used to and fight to the death? <laughs> simpler, if you ask me. Well, if we're dealing with the same enemy from Beacon, hacking into Mantle system would be simple. Fortunately. The rest of Atlas is running on an upgraded network. And how would someone get access to that network? Well, only a few people have clearance. Ironwood, the Council, our cybersecurity and surveillance leads. And maybe a select few who oversee critical systems like sewage or the heating grid. Oh, I thought you were going to say somebody's grid daddy. The company. What are you thinking? I don't know yet, but something isn't right. I called dibs I'm on going to your dad's century. house and just beating him up. Come on! Let's just be up your dad. You doing? Everything yeah, else is in chaos. Why don't we just bust him through and start kicking him in the shins when he's down to keep kicking him? It's the best idea ever. What could go wrong? Everybody seems to hate the guy. Think of what people want to do to my girl. Even if the worst does happen, you can always reactivate her again. So. Maybe try not to Oh god, that's so a good much. idea. Why don't you just take her brain out, just show her body exploding? We're like, got it! Right one of her we did it, everybody! Oh, what'd he say? When the general first challenged us to find the next breakthrough in defense technology, most of my whose finger? More who's that? Who's of your finger? Is that gonna be I mustachioed senior general? In Sexy man? For inspiration. I don't think it's the same skin color, actually. <laughs> I did. And when General Ironwood saw her, he did too. Much to my surprise, the Henny Project was chosen over all the other proposals. Why would you be surprised? You created an artificial aura. Uh, not quite. <gasps> Ooh. You gave her part of yours? Oh. Yes. And each time I rebuild Penny, it takes a little more. Oh. If the people of the she's destroyed, I won't be able to... <laughs> no! 
I freaking called it! Yeah! Responsible. I promise. Also, that guy on the left, there's a level of black you can draw a character where it just gets comical. It's, that's kind of, you kind of did it there. He's little, that's, you went a little too popo instead of actual black. Dude! Ooh, the pieces are coming together. The pieces are coming together. We're finding out how Penny was gonna come back. And if he, she dies again, she's gonna actually be dead this time. Or he gets rid of his aura. I'm not really sure how that works. If you lose your aura, do you die? I don't really know. Robin, scramble! No, wait. <laughs> My brain thought she said scramble. Get the just get a floor of scramble. Oh, you can't take me. You can't beat me at scramble. Oh, jeez, I've always been really bad at this game. Whoa, she. What we don't see right now is this actually a representation of how the scramble game's going. Wow, that's like a five letter word she just did right there. Whoa, fire. That's cool. I really like her buzzsaw arms. Those are really cool. But can you shoot it? <laughs> if Ironwood wants me, he'll have to send more than a couple of kids. He is. Stopping the trucks alerted the Aesops. We don't have long before they arrive, so please listen to us. You need to know the truth. <sighs> You're stalling. Amity Coliseum, all these supplies, they're for... They're for a new communications tower. That doesn't make any sense. A new tower means the kingdom's I know finally... what the tower means, Fisticuffs. That's Mrs. Fisticuffs. And how'd you know what my real last name? Hand? <laughs> what? You said time is short. Either take it or I'm gone. I don't trust your one bare finger. It's creeping me out. What does it do? It's so when she points at you, you really get pointed at. Tell me again. What is Ironwood building out in the tundra? Wait. A new communications tower. Hold on a second. He's trying to help everyone. She has a truth? You're telling the truth. What? Handy semblance. Why keep that You have the ability to see if something's true or false. Why did you do that before with Ruby? The people murdering civilians in Mantle are just trying to make it look that way. Okay. The same people learn okay. That they do everything in their power to destroy it. So who are they? Who's actually behind this? Yang, Blake, where are you? We can't tell you that part yet. Well, look, we are trusting you. So trust us when we say that Amity Tower needs to stay a secret until it's done. We just need a little more time. Run! We'll throw them off! I won't stop until I know the whole truth. I mean, we could just show up and you touch me again. I can't believe that she has the ability to tell truth or lies and she went and did all this. Why? Why didn't, when the whole thing went down the last episode, when Penny, when Ruby went, it was Tyrion! That she never went, ha! Huh, Maybe I should see if she's telling the truth. Nope! Start rioting! Yeah! I feel like someone who has that ability, and I don't know if this is an ability or if everybody can do it, like if you have aura, if you connect the auras, you can find out, or if that's just her ability. I think that's her ability. But I feel like someone who would have an ability like that would be more slow and cautious and have more conversations with people because literally a handshake can confirm if someone's lying or telling the truth. And does Ironwood know that she can do this? Because if Ironwood knows that she can do this, why didn't he send somebody to go talk to her and touch her hand? Because she has the ability to be like, hey, you were know for telling lies, so here's just a guy that I told the information for, or heck, I do it myself. Shake, shake. Oh, wow, you're right. It really wasn't. Cool beans. Same problem. What? Holy crap, I feel like that ability is a giant plot hole through the entire, entire chaos. Oh, 
Someone who has that ability should not be as untrustworthy as she is. When you have the ability where you can make deals and say, hey, if you're telling the truth, do this with me. And then they're like, okay, cool beans. I mean, it freaking glows a different color if it's a, uh, the truth or a lie. So uh, everybody can see it. What? What? It's right behind that door. Oh, Staff of creation. oh, oh, I hoped bring you down here in my jog some memories. After all, it was your idea to use the staff to lift Atlas off the ground. I thought interesting the dust kept Atlas afloat. Yeah, that's the public story. But with the staff, we have a constant, seemingly limitless energy source. Oswin speculated it could take us as high as we wanted. To tell you the oh, truth, that probably is not a good idea. Serve as the inspiration for the Amity Project. <laughs> it's like, like we'll go to the moon! The sky, higher than the uh, yes, this is the meeting. Everyone's head exploded. It was a bad idea. Really Let's not do that again. You're not using this staff also, it's stuck in space now. We can't get down. It's like a balloon. We're going to have to do Amity the old-fashioned way. Dust and all. It feels strange. Knowing a part of me helps come up with all this. You'll get used to it, I'm sure. Eventually, you don't even know who's who anymore. Right. I mean, he's still there. We he's just stuck, like, hidden in your left know. calf or something. <laughs> you ain't gonna find me in this calf. I wish I could ask hey, he likes Hentai way. Haven. Well, I can tell you what I think. The path you're heading down, where you're the only one with the answers, where you do the thing you think is right, no matter the cost, it's not going to take you anywhere good. Says the seven-year-old child. <laughs> I mean, he's right, but it, like, if anyway, he's not gonna listen to. Some things matter more. I think. Keeping our humanity. It's what makes us different from her. Hmm. Sometimes I worry that's her greatest advantage. Without humanity, does she still feel fear? Does she ever hesitate? When Salem has beaten. <laughs> Every time she looks in the mirror. All oh. My soul. oh, God. I was no match for her. I've never felt so helpless. The way she told me she was there. Grabbed by the nipples and twisted. Ah! Why? That's why he has robotic nipples. He's like, I can't. Okay to be afraid. Can't live with having these anymore. You just can't let that fear control you. I am not going to end up like Lionheart. Ooh. Do you believe in me? That believes in you. I do believe in you. But not only you. I think the best thing you could do is sit down and talk with the people you're most afraid to. Who has abilities to tell the truths and lies. <laughs> now you are starting to sound like him. Which is surprising, because I thought we were trying to say, don't be like Oswin, because he did the same thing. You all right there, Winter? Uh-oh. Okay. Winter. What is it? Oh, no. Oh, you smell? Oh. That's my dad. What's going on? It looks like you're getting your wish. My father's first act. We've all been invited to dinner, where the general will be defending his seat on the council. <laughs> uh oh. Can't we just all agree that your dad's a dick? Can't we just go beat him up? He never has security. Like, when he saw Weiss a second ago, he was literally just sitting by himself. Hey, guys. I'm coming out of this boat. You could have all gone together and beaten the shit out of him. Nobody would care. Nobody would care. Nobody likes him. I'm almost certain that hack-wise, his votes was, like, one guy, old man yucket. <laughs> Putting on the vote. He didn't even know who he was voting for. He, he actually pressed the wrong button. He got this guy, the world's worst liar. I love you all. <laughs> I think they're going with that he actually did win. Though, I'm not actually sure. I think he, he hacked it. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm just a boy with a dream that Blake's mom comes back and has that important storyline where she's just, oh, guys, I'm just so hot. What do I do? Well, you see, Miss Belladonna, you're just going to have to, you just got to exist and show how hot you are. She's like, I guess so. I guess I just got to exist and uh, make sure that Ryan doesn't go off the deep end. And then she's just like, what's, what's this in my chest? Oh, it seems to be Roman. <laughs> Ta-da! I wasn't dead. I was hiding in her titties the whole time. I'm the real David Blaine. <laughs> well, to be honest, folks, I don't know how I felt about that episode. I, I feel like I, I enjoyed it because there was some uh, plot points. I like uh, uh, the old man talking about Penny, like finding out more about how Penny came back and how that works. And uh, that's interesting. It's uh, interesting to find out the connection between uh, Mr. Mustachio and uh, uh, the old man. But um, wait a minute. Penny is his actual daughter, right? Like, that was the whole thing, that his daughter died. He's black. She's very white. Did he... Did he Michael Jackson her? It's a bit of effed up, man. He's like, yeah, I had him. A black daughter, but then, uh, figure the opportunity to make her white. Why? I don't know. I just like white redheads. I mean, a lot of people like redheads, so you can't blame them there. <laughs> what the heck, old man? I guess you technically could say your, uh, your wife was white, but the fact that she is white. Like, I'm talking about albinos. They're like, whoa, I can't see with that. The whole finding out that she can tell if people are lying or telling the truth, which, if you guys know more about this ability, please enlighten me, because it's just like the time, the time stop, or whatever it was. It's either slow down or time stop. I'm not really sure what it is. It's an ability that seems, in my head, really powerful, and I feel like that I could be wrong. Like, uh, if, also, I'm curious about the old hand sucking thing. It seems like they just can take stuff. Um, it's not like um, the guy from Inuyasha where he just takes his hand off and goes um, which would be also extremely powerful. And also the way to kill Salem. Time stop, have girl touch her, sucks in all to the dimension, world saved. But yeah, I don't know. I, once again, I feel like I was expecting riot and chaos and police versus people. And then I got uh, two child, two children hiding and a couple of guys being like, Oh, cops! Whoop, 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 whoop. That's it. That's all. That's literally all I got. I'm never, I'm never getting my riot scenes. I just, I've just got to accept that riot wise is literally five people and everyone being like, I'm getting the hell out of here. Um, the Ironwood stuff's interesting. The whole stuff is so gray and uh, you can kind of like sympathize with him because it's really a lose-lose situation. You don't know what to do and you're just trying to do something because you have power. And uh, so even though he's doing things that you're like, I disagree with, you still feel bad for him because of, you know, it's such a hard thing to go with. Um, it's also was uh, interesting to see Nora just be like, motherfucker. <laughs> Come at me! I was just like, whoa, Nora, okay. <laughs> Listen, I got into an intense fight with my boyfriend that ended up with me making out, and uh, I right now have the biggest balls right now just because I am hopped up on that adrenaline. Also, I'm gonna be honest, guys. If you really want to fix this, why know how you do it? Guys, what's that? Something's coming down from outer space. In the middle of town. Everybody can see it. So why in the middle of the street and he just goes Boof. salt everybody has peace grim all disintegrate <laughs> he's the answer oh my god i've just got a crazy ass idea that makes no god dang sense so why ruby's mother there you go. I just there's there's my crazy idea. You might as well. I every time I've ever thrown out a crazy idea, sometimes it just randomly comes through, and I go, "What the hell? My brain did it." 
There you go. I threw out. That's what Sawai is. It's secretly his mom turned into a dog so she could watch over her kid. Mystery solved. Wow. What a great reaction. Hey, everybody. It's Future. Future. Ryan here. To give you guys that comment you wanted. Now, if you're wondering why it's Future future ryan i ended up talking about the ren nora conversation for literally an hour and i didn't want to edit it <laughs> so here's the cliff notes version of the entire comment reading i was wrong thank you everybody for joining me on uh, another episode of Ruby. Uh, if you enjoy, remember to subscribe, leave a like down below, and write a comment about the episode. I'll see you next time. Yeah, so after reading your comments, I realized that uh, the whole entire conversation was more about Ren and uh, Nora. And uh, after rewatching it and really uh, analyzing it instead of seeing it the first time and being so engulfed in the burning rage that I was... I, I can see where they're going with the entire scene. And the worst part about it is this realization. I believe I may be confused. Who are we talking about again? I'm not really sure. Oh, fuck. I'm Penny. <laughs> no! Damn it. I am an absolute adorable airhead like Penny. Of course. Of course. It makes sense. It all makes sense. I was too busy being cute and I didn't notice. Look, the sun just came out and beamed in my face. Yes. <laughs> now, I still believe what I said about how uh, it, it did feel like a small little jab, but rewatching it, I realized it wasn't as big as I made it out to be. I would say it's a tiny little bit, but... I still don't like how they added the whole Bumblebee thing into it, but I very much understand why they did it. And really, I kind of forgave the whole scene because it was more about the entire thing than about Bumblebee. Also in the comment readings, there was really only two notable things other than the fact that everyone tell me uh, it was more about that. Um, was someone wrote a comment that really intrigued me about how is it that out of all the faunuses that were there at the event, how did none of them have night vision? We had an entire episode talking about how not all of them have night vision, but some of them do. So it makes you wonder how in this giant scurry, not a single one of them could see him. Not just the night vision cameras that should exist, even though I could, you could easily just say, uh, King Mustachio just went, boo, fair enough, hacking. Didn't you see? Didn't you see how he typed? It's, that's how real hackers do it, by the way. But you can't hack animal vision. How is it nobody saw it? Something I didn't think of, and it really is a fascinating point, and kind of a kind of a loophole. There's a lot. There's a lot of. <laughs> there's a lot of holes in this season. A lot of holes, uh, for plot reasons. I will never forgive the handshake thing. That thing knocked me out of my socks. You can say she's not trustworthy, but the fact that someone who has the ability to trust people with a handshake, literally all she had to do was say, hey, you know I have this truth ability, just send one of your important guys where I'm protected, where you couldn't kill me, we handshake, which, by the way, I watched the next episode, and they show up in the same room in episode eight. Everyone was there. Everyone was in the same room, hanging out, having a little taste of the rich people food with Weiss's dad. And did she once shake Mr. Ironwood's hand? Say, hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, by the way, did you try to do those things? No. Oh, what do you know? You didn't lie. Problem solved. War over. It just feels like you probably shouldn't have given her that ability <laughs> with an entire scandal about lies. 
I swear, this season, every time I find something that I start enjoying, something annoys me just as bad. I don't think anything will annoy me as much as Penny's return. Like, the, the Penny thing bothered me so much. I really think that if I was watching this, I would have watched that episode, and I probably would have stopped watching Ruby after that. That's how that's how damaging I felt that entire thing was. That you had such a huge scene be the biggest wet fart you've ever heard in your entire life. It was like they took something that should have been extremely important, and it was just like, wow, wow. It makes me sad. Because you remember the emotional scenes they used to do with freaking John hanging out in the bushes in season four, watching the tape over again. You go, ooh, it hit you right in the fields, just like it could have hit you in the fields when Penny and Ruby saw each other again. Oh, God. Oh, God. I swear. If Ruby saw Jesus raised from the dead, she'd be like, whoa, wow, that's okay. All right. I got to get back to work, though. Got to kill some Grim. I mean, uh, is you a little impressed? Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's good to see you again. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> and then lastly on the comments, really, we got to do some ship reads. Now, this time around, there were two people who did ship reads, and we're going to start off with Anime Freak, who threw his hat into the ship naming arena, and, uh, oh boy, that made, I cringed when I said arena, that was the most nerdy shit I've ever done. Anyways, Ryan X. Morrow, good boy. <laughs> ah! It's the fact that either one of us said good boy, and you know, you know he said it to me. He gave me a little pat on the head. Good boy. Ha ha ha. I punch him right in the head of his dick. Asshole. Anyways. <laughs> Hobo X Mary. Hobo riding the train. <laughs> I forgot about that one. <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. Part of me says, uh oh, that's good. That's going to get you in trouble. But also, it's a good joke. I, I can't help it. it. It's a play on word. Trans, trans, you know, like a freaking train. It was clever, okay? I was clever. <laughs> now, now, would the, uh, the trans community find this clever? You better. It's a good one. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ryan, you're going to get yourself in gosh darn trouble. He did a winky emoji. Come on. Hobo Ryan X. Mary writing the... <laughs> Ryan X. Fiona, shepherd with sheep. I don't want to be your shepherd. It's kind of hot, though. Um, Ryan X. Weiss, confused masochist. <laughs> I like how he didn't have to explain the trans one. He gave me a little wink emoji, but the Weiss one, he had to explain in great detail. It's because I'm still sexually confused about Weiss um, in this scenario. Not in real life. I don't find her sexually attractive. She has grandma hair. And she's like 18. I feel like that probably should have been for Ryan X. John's Thirsty Moms. I have never wanted a combination so bad in my entire life. Multiple MILFs who are thirsty for blonde boys. Ooh! Anime Harem Hobo Ryan Edition. Mm, mm. Listen, if I'm going to do a harem, I want them thirsty moms. I don't want these young girls where all of a sudden the police have to be a part of my harem to make sure nothing gets weird. Take that box of lollies. Ah, put them in the pile with all the other thick lollies. I'm talking about you, dragon girl. Get the get away from me. Get away from me. Well, anyways, that was uh, Anime Freaks. And uh, I had to say, really good job. That's a really good couple of uh, ships. My favorite is a toss-up between Hobo Ryan Trans and Confused Masochist. They're two really good ones. They're good ones. I can't, I gotta, I gotta say, they got me. Anyways, hey, let's go on to let's go on to Matt's now, who uh, decided to do all the Aesop ones, which was Hobo Ryan X Clover, E B. 
I don't even know who that is. Oh, apparently it's a fisherman. Teach a man to fish. Oh, that's passionate. Could you imagine him just holding, holding the fishing rod behind me? No, all right. We're going to catch a big one. Oh, whoa, buddy. I was ready for fish. You didn't have to stick your hook in me. <laughs> we always forget that all these are about me having sex with an litany of Ruby characters, huh? <laughs> I hope Orion X Vine Ziki. This ship name is a str Hope Orion X Elm L End Endrin. Take a root in the dirt. I feel like I would normally uh think about that one, but it seems that I've been so uh so ripped apart inside. <laughs> That and I can't let the footage of me sticking my dick in the dirt rise from the grave. Hobo Ryan X Harriet Bree. <laughs> quick, quick, quickie. <laughs> Either she's good or fast. I don't know. Hobo Ryan X Morrow Admin. Or, no, uh, Admin. Amen. Amen? A slow bone. <laughs> Crap, I can't believe that one got me. <laughs> That one's absolutely my favorite. I don't know why. I, well, I don't know why the stretch got me so mad, but the slow bone freaking hit me in my tickle box, but it did. Now, I'm not really sure what's going to happen for the next one. I think eight may be the last of the comment reading I'm going to do because I want to just finish up Ruby in like a week. So it'll just be, uh, I'm just going to do all the episodes and pop them out for the week so I can finally finish the season. I just want to get it done uh, so I can start getting to work on another series. Anyways, I look forward to reading your comments, guys. Uh, we're going to get through this. We're going to have a week of Ruby. And uh, yeah, anyways, folks, I technically already did the ending. So insert here. If you enjoy, remember to subscribe, leave a like down below, and write a comment. Wow, what a great ending. <laughs>